Hey, Manny Fash, it is the 17th of June, 2019, and this climate change stuff keeps being put right before me, and I'm thinking that they must be really building up to create some seriously crazy weather, even crazier than we already see, because they are pushing this climate change global warming thing to the ends of the world, man. They are not messing around. The Pope just finished a two-day meeting with the top oil, gas, energy executives in the world. And I mean the top guys. I mean, this guy right here is the CEO, chairman of ConocoPhillips, Ryan Lance. You can look up all these people. They're the bigwigs, folks. And he's telling them they must act now to stand off global warming now i'm not sure if the proper terminology is climate change or global warming uh, but frankly it does not matter because they are unfolding this plan and they are not going to stop okay you just need to understand what it is you're dealing with the victory is already won okay the truth is in christ jesus and that is the victory okay these people are just minions of Satan. That's all they are. There's your white Pope. There's a black Pope. There's a black and white. Just like when the Pope is is chosen in the Sistine Chapel. You know how they do their little smoke pipe? They do white smoke until they choose the Pope. And then they do the black smoke. Think about this stuff. You know what I mean? Anyway, he's telling them they have to act now. And he's criticizing climate deniers, okay? Now, I just did this video the other day, and it's right in front of me again. So he's backing carbon scheme program. That's what he's doing. Meets with all the execs of the world and tells them to act. And essentially what this means is, is you are going to be forced to pay to breathe. Or you just simply have to conform to every law that they are going to force upon us. You'll have to follow the rules in order to go along to get along. They are going to force you to pay to just live. This would be a footprint on your neck is what it is. And they essentially, they just want either want you dead or marked, which means, you know, in their system, conforming with their smart world. You know what I mean? And it's all to stem global warming to cut fossil fuels, which is a joke. Fossil fuels are not the cause of all the chaos you're seeing in the climate. This is period. Among many other things, of course, you know, of course we want to be cleaner, but you just get over it, man. They are intentionally jacking the weather to force the people to demand their solution. Problem, reaction, solution. They're just creating a surf class worldwide. That's all this is for. Period. The deniers. That's a, that's a laugh too. They're not. We're not denying anything. It's 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 literally cartoon level obvious that this climate change is due to the millions of tons of science that you've sprayed in the skies. I mean, this is unbelievable that people are still falling for this. We're denying your false science is what we're doing. We're calling out your lies, Pope. And all your buddies, the big energy, pharma, don't forget IBM, the weather company. It's pathetic. And you will die in your sin if you don't repent now, if you can, while you can. And he tells us, the Pope tells us, we need to put our faith in science. You know what I'm saying? He urges the world to heed scientific findings. You gotta read this, okay? That's all I can tell you. Their science is nothing less than sorcery. They're just magicians, cabalists. They practice magic. This is what they're doing. They've been deceived into Satan's magic math. All the calculations that these people throw at you are literally based on lies. You gotta understand this stuff. And, and realize that, yes, it does run that deep. You're dealing with the minions of the devil. They're deceivers, whoremongers, murderers, and liars. And they tell us it's the consensus. It's the consensus. 
which means, you know, unanimously, which is totally not so, but they don't care. The consensus, did you know that Pope, I just told you about the smoke, right? He's chosen by all the bishops in the Sistine Chapel. They all gather there and pray and meditate in the Sistine Chapel. This is where they do it. This is where the puff of smoke comes out. And they meditate and pray before their master. The final judgment, right? That is the dragon. That is literally what you're looking at right there. Think about this. Blew me away when, I, when this was all revealed to me. But this is the image of the dragon. He's right there with the Pope and all the purple royalty. You see what I mean? Right there. I mean, right down to the, to the little scales and horns that protrude out of the forehead and everything. I mean, this is what you're looking at, you guys. <laughs> I mean, this is off the charts, but it's real because you're in a spiritual war. And it literally is for your mind and your soul. It's, it's not a game. And it's obvious if you look around what they are doing right in front of your face daily. This is your climate change. And now they're turning on the spigots full force to force you into complying with their solution. The solution. Remember? This is all this is. Put your faith in science, not in Jesus Christ. No, nowhere is that mentioned, right? Just amazing to me. Trump is seeking consensus. Yeah, in response to Iran, you got so many of these things that are just coming together that you got to get right with God because there's no way that you're going to be able to go along to get along in what's coming upon the earth. It just ain't going to work for you. All these things taking place. The Extinction Rebellion. This is today. This is going on daily. All around the world. With their giant X. Look at the symbolism. Look at the... These are unwitting minions. Who worship the creation beyond the creator. They think the flesh is the end all be all. And they're just sadly mistaken. Okay, so I had to show you that stuff. Because it's upon us. I pray you know Jesus. If you don't seek him diligently. With a humble sincere heart. He'll reveal himself to you. That's what he does. He is the truth. So peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally my brethren. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 